Ciao a tutti, siamo qua alla Venom Gym, una giornata speciale, abbiamo un ospite speciale con altri due atleti di caratura nazionale, Roberto Bonomo e Andrea Presti, Neil Hill. A sì. mio avviso è il miglior coach che in questo momento è in circolazione, col curriculum, il background e tutti i risultati che ha dato. Per me è un onore oggi fare un allenamento assieme a lui e allenare i due ragazzi. So it's obviously really exciting for me to be here with my great friend and obviously incredible coach, Mauro Sassi. We're here in Venom Gym, obviously home to the champion, Andre Presti. It's going to be great to see Roberto, one of my athletes, and Andre uh, training to today together. They've had multiple workouts, obviously over an extended period of time, and having the opportunity to have or be a part of this incredible event, and more importantly, here with Mauro and you guys and girls to be able to extract this information that we're going to be giving you at home, seeing a really live workout, Andre is actually just under six weeks out from the Olympia. Roberto is just under two weeks out from competing in Milan. And uh, having the opportunity to be with these incredible athletes is a great opportunity for me. And I hope that this is one of many, many videos myself and Mauro and Andrea and Roberto are going to be doing for you guys and girls at home. I really appreciate the, what uh, Neil say. I'm very happy for that. And also I'm so excited for to see how would you be the training. Follow us and go keep pump. Okay, so when it comes to today's workout, we're going to be doing a high volume sarcoplasmic hypertrophy workout where we're primarily going to be focusing on a slow twitch muscle fibers. That being said, even though this is going to be high reps and obviously there's going to be a lot of volume, a lot of blood flow, a lot of uh, lactic acid buildup, shoulders is one of those muscle groups which respond primarily really well from high reps because it's, mo it's the most used muscle in the human body. Because when you walk, your arms are moving. Obviously, any direction in this plane of motion from the side, from the front, even if you're sitting down and you're writing or you're on a computer or you're doing a manual job, is going to go through your shoulders. So shoulders work really well or respond really well to high reps. We'll obviously be going through the workout so you guys and girls can obviously see this information. What's really important is you take the time to make sure you warm up correctly. Now, myself and Mara have a lot of similarities with our philosophy and our thinking when it comes to training, nutrition, supplementation. So there's nothing really new other than the fact that, you know, the workout is going to be designed, you know, for Andrea and also Roberto. And obviously myself and um, Mauro are going to be speaking throughout the workout so that I can extract the information and his experiences and the data that he's gained, obviously working with Andrea. And obviously I'll be sharing my experiences that I've had working with uh, Roberto. Allora, praticamente cerco di tradurre in maniera veloce per chi non avesse capito. Neil ha spiegato in parole pure, ma anche in parole molto tecniche, quale, come sarà l'approccio all'allenamento di oggi nella, nella specie del lavoro, nello specifico dei deltoidi. Inizierà con un carico pesante, con un esercizio di distensione emulando il movimento dei manubri, ma con una shoulder press. E poi si partirà con un alto volume di lavoro, con delle alzate laterali, perché le spalle, per chi non fosse informato, ma la risposta di Neil è stata quella di dire che l'alto volume porta a un'irrorazione di sangue nei deltoidi e di conseguenza si crea proprio questa stimolazione muscolare. Come ha già detto prima Neil, Roberto Bonomo è a due settimane dalla gara a Milano, la competizione verrà fatta a Milano e Andrea Presti è a sei settimane dal Mister Olimpia. Perciò nessuna tipologia, nessuna strategia specifica di modifica per quanto riguarda l'allenamento, ma è solo un approccio normale come normalmente si allenano i ragazzi. Okay? Io cerco di tradurre e spiegare un po' per chi non riesce a capire tanto in inglese. Neil parla molto veloce, parla un inglese molto stretto, ma quando si parla magari di lavoro tecnico per quanto riguarda il bodybuilding cerco almeno di capire o carpire il 90% di quello che dice, va bene? Adesso i ragazzi sono pronti e ci sistemiamo sulla shoulder press. Okay, so these are just warm-ups. So warm-ups are there to mentally and physically prime you, get Solovian fluid, blood flow, activation, get brain trained to the movement. They're not there to pre-exhaust you. So make sure when you're doing your warm-ups, they're there for multiple reasons, but by the time you finish, your last warm-up set, you should not be pre-fatigued. You should make sure you're physically and mentally strong and prepared to put all that effort and energy into your working sets, okay? 
So the guys have done one plate aside, 20 reps. Now we're gonna put two plates aside for 20 reps. Then we'll put three plates aside and probably do 10 to 15 reps and see where they are with their fatigue and their strength before we make a decision on whether we're doing a fourth warm-up set and then when we go in with our first working set. You'll also notice that when they're doing their repetitions, they're not locking out. So they're stopping just before lockout. However, when they rest pause, and they will be rest pausing, they're gonna be locking out. And myself or Mauro are gonna be behind, just keeping some stability there whilst they're resting for two or three seconds before they go in to do those extra repetitions. Allora, nello specifico molto tecnico cerco di essere più breve per non annoiare perché i ragazzi sono pronti per partire. Lui precisa di base la cosa fondamentale che per molti sono, sono cose forse risapute, sentite, quanto sia importante l'approccio mentale nella fase di riscaldamento e quanto serve il riscaldamento per affluire il sangue nella zona interessata che poi verrà allenata con il carico maggiore. Ho spiegato anche alcune tecniche che faremo di non chiudere completamente l'esecuzione ma lasciando le braccia in distensione complete, di modo che la spalla non va in stress, si, non va in stress completamente. E secondo me è più facile vederlo che spiegarlo. Adesso vediamo come, come procede e via. Forza da. Okay, good. Good, pump them up there, Roberto. Good. 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 Okay. How did I feel? Did it feel light or does it start to kick in a bit? Does that feel light? Good pump? But doesn't it feel too heavy? No, no. Uh, a plate? You put one more plate? Yeah, or, another plate. Or just you yeah. need to warm up? Uh, one another, more plate? Yeah. Another plate. Yeah. Now, just remember, okay, so um, Andrea is like just under six weeks out from competing at this year's 2023 Mr. Olympia. Roberto is just under two weeks out from competing in Milan. So they're slightly different on where they are as far as, say, they're intramuscular um, glycogen storage. So definitely at this, this stage where we are with prep with Roberto, he's gonna be in more of a deficit. So he's probably gonna fail quicker but don't get concerned about where your failure point is and who is stronger. It's about applying yourself, okay? It's really important that when you have a training partner that you're both in line with each other mentally and physically. You're competing against each other's application and commitment and intensity and not necessarily the weight that somebody's using. Okay. Try. Five. Good. What? Five. Six. Seven, good. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. How do I feel? Good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Roberta, you just do 10 reps, okay? Get a feel where it is now. Speed it up a little bit. Good. Three. Punch him out. Good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. That's a feature. Ah, yeah, but quite easy. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Right. How do I feel? Heavy? No. No? Okay. <coughs> I don't really want you to do much more than 20. So what we'll do, if you feel that you've got to slow the negative down okay. a little, all right, to force the, the, the repetitions down, 
we'll do that. But we're going to be doing a drop set. Okay. Okay. All right. Right. This is our first set. Okay. Mindset, yeah. guys. Come on. Be fucking Three, strong. Three, two, good. One. Let's go. Come on. You got it. Good. Perfect. Good. Two. Good. Three. Push. Four. Four. Five. Excellent. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Come on. Eleven. One. Good. Good. Two. Twelve. Perfect. Three. Eighteen. Good. Four. Five. Good. Five more. Work hard. Come on. One. Just keep going. Don't stop. Do not Two. stop. Good. Come on. Three. Four. One rep, one lock more. out, lock out at the top. Okay, drop, drop. Drop one. Yep. <coughs> when I say rest pause, you lock out at the top, okay? Yeah? Three, right, two, strong now. one, go. Right, speed those reps up for me now. Okay, one. Let's go, speed it up. Two. Take hands, let them do it Three. all. Three. Yeah, yeah. Let them work, come on, up. Six. One, rest Seven. pause at the top. Rock, good, good. And again, two or three, rep. Oh. rest pause, come on, drop. Uh, up, one. one. Two. Good. Rest pause. Good. Take your hands away now. Last one or two reps. Strong, strong. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, one, two. Up. One. And one. Oh, rack it, okay. rack it, rack it. Up. Stay Drop. there. Three. Good. Strong, strong. Let's go. Five reps. Drive. Up. Speed it up. One, two, three, four. four. One. Rest pause. Good. Oh. And again. Strong, strong. Come on. Big push. Drive. Oh. One. Good. Two. Push. Three. Four. Up. Up, good, slow down, and then rack it. Slow, 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 slow. Rack it, good set. Drop, finish, well okay. Very good. So what we did just then to manipulate the exercise because Andre is very, very strong, did four plates aside, there's no room for extra plates. What we did, we slowed down the eccentric, which indirectly is forcing down the repetitions because we saw an uptake in muscle fiber activation. So you can manipulate the exercise or how you perform an exercise in relationship to your strength. So what we did, as I said, the eccentric is about three seconds for the first sort of 10 to 15 reps, and then we sped the reps up. And then when we did our drop sets, the eccentric was about one second. You'll notice that throughout the video. So it's purposely done for that reason, okay? Praticamente gli ha chiesto il numero di ripetizioni che lui faceva con questo carico, lui Andrea gli ha detto 20-25 ripetizioni, gli ha gestito la fase concentrica in maniera più lenta per portare che cosa? Il deltoide dell'esaurimento. Abbiamo fatto un bel drop set, praticamente in alcune, in alcuni, in alcun, durante la serie non gli ha fatto concludere il movimento ma gli ha lasciato a braccia tese praticamente scaricare sul discorso articolare e basta, è più facile a vederlo magari che a spiegarlo. Neil has explained it in English, but I think to see the vision is real is the most effective. Be strong, okay? Andrea, let's see if we can drop it. Punch those ribs up now, You stay, okay? Neil, huh? and yeah. we do drop here, okay? Yeah. As many as you can. Okay, okay but Forza, listen, bang, bang, bang. Come on, let's two weeks out. One, two, three. Let's go, come on. Up, one. Perfect, good. Come on, speed it up, speed it up, two. Strong. Good, three. Good, four. No help, just touch, don't touch. Up, come on. Five, six. Good, seven. Push, eight. Drive. Nine, come on, push. Come on, up. Three, two, one. Rest forward, up. There. Two or three reps, let's go. Strong, strong. Come on, drive. Up, one, and again. <coughs> up. Right, <coughs> rack it back. Rack it, down, down. Drop, right, be strong. One, two, three. Punch him out, let's go, come on. Oh, Robbie. Drive, come on. <coughs> Good. <coughs> up, three, <coughs> one. Good. Now, guys, take one off. Take one off. Take one off. Right. Let's go. Come on. Strong. Come on, Robbie. Push. One. Two. Up. One off. Take one off. One. One off. Yeah, there. One off. Right. Come on then. Let's go. Drive. One. Push. Two. Three. Four. Drive up. Rest. Pause. Two reps and then rack it. Come on. Up. Get them up. Drive. One. Good set. Good set. Okay. okay, done. That's it. No? Okay, so obviously it's high rep, okay? We're doing drop sets. In this case, it's been a triple drop set. When you're performing a triple drop set and you're bringing your working reps to failure, what I mean by failure, you cannot perform any more repetitions on your own. That indirectly is one phase. 
So if you're doing a triple drop set and you're going to failure in every phase, every set equates to three working sets indirectly. So one of those triple drop sets that the guy's done just now, that's actually three working sets. All right, now what you're gonna find, irrespective whether it's high reps, medium or low rep training, when you're really pushing and challenging yourself, you will notice that your strength will dissipate and get lesser as you go through your working sets. That's very normal. So make sure that you obviously remove weight when is necessary because Roberto, when he goes on to his second phase, instead of starting off with four plates aside, we'll be starting off with three plates aside. Ok, cerco di tradurre anche se la spiegazione magari è un po' complicata, però il senso de, de la, de la, di quello che ha detto Neil è voler portare a ogni set, perciò verranno fatti tre set, questo era il primo che avete visto, considerate che ce ne sono altri due uguali, portare al cedimento, che purtroppo io sono qua già dieci ore in palestra e purtroppo la testa un po' non è proprio super lucida, però comunque ne faremo tre set di questo tipo e guardiamo le prossime. Ready? Two, one, okay, drive, drive, be strong, okay? Be a fucking machine, all right? Just do, good, come on. Three. Push. Excellent. Six. Good. Seven. Push. Eight. And one. Rest pause, no guys, not yet, not yet, not yet. Right, let's go, three reps. Drive, drive, come on, drive. One, up, two, up. Good, okay guys, take it off. Right, you're back in, let's go. Five reps, rest pause. Drive, drive, come on, drive. One, one, two, push, three, up, four, up, good, rest, pause, not yet, guys, not yet. Three reps, let's go, come on, strong, strong. Uh, push, come on, one, two, up, up. Okay, guys, rack, stay there. Right, let's go, five reps. Strong, strong, come on, drive, one, two, three, four, up, good. Last three, okay, last three. Let's go, drive, drive, drive. Good set, good set. Done, well done. Very good. Very good. Roberto, clear your mind, okay? Think about the first five. Then you think about the next three, okay? Be a fucking machine, come on. No fucking around, let's go. One, two, three, up. Let's go. Punch him out, come on, drive. One, up, two, good, three, push. Four, five, good, six, drive, seven, push. Rest pause. Right, let's go, two reps, up. Drive, up, come on, one, up. Don't stop at the bottom. Okay, take one off, guys, take one off. Right, let's go, three to five reps. Come on, punch it out. One, two, up, up. Two reps, come on. Push, push, drive, up, up. Okay, one off, guys. Okay. Right, let's go, Roberto, come on. Come on, drive, one. Two, three, four, one, up. Last three, okay? I'm stepping away. Let's go, drive. One, two, up. Good okay, set. Good. Very good. Very good. Three plates. Just three plates, three plates. Okay, three. Yeah. Good. Once you come to that point of failure where you cannot perform any more reps on your own, especially with high volume as well, doing force reps and force reps is completely counterproductive because I feel that you're, you're in that state where you're highly catabolic. And the only way that you can reverse that, right, indirectly is insulin spiking whilst you're training with intra-workout supplements. Now, for some people that will work well, but when you are in the environment of pre-contest prep, it's, I don't feel it's ideal. You know, and what you also know as well is that um, if you're going to take intra-workout supplementation, okay. you need to make sure that supplementation is really bioavailable yeah. and it's going, to be, it's going to be utilized. One thing that I want to touch base on for you guys and girls at home, high volume training, incredible, right, for muscle stimulus. So you, it's okay. a great tool to train like this, not every week because you potentially will yeah. overtrain. Make sure your intra-workout and your, your pre-workout supplements are in line with this type of training. Okay. Because if you think of it logically, if your training style changes, your pre-workout, your intra-workout has to change because you've changed sure. the environment, yes? Okay. And this is something obviously yourself and myself have spoken about you know, a lot in the past. So I know that you guys, when you're doing high volume training, I know that you're, you know, you're manipulating your supplements based around the workout. And a lot of people don't do that. 
You know, a lot of people don't. So just, you know, obviously it's very important that you guys and girls at home obviously take this information. And this is something that obviously myself and Mauro, you know, even though I don't work with Andrea, we have really, you know, we got a great relationship. You're probably my closest yeah, no. coach in the industry. So we talk a lot, right, about ideas and our philosophies on things. Yeah. We use different types of carbs, different types of... Uh, workout? Because the workout changes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You see the metabolic changes. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't think about 20, th think about the first five. Then you think about the next five. Then you think about the next three, okay? Strong, strong, I'll help you. One, two, three, you're in. Okay. Let's go. Big push, come on. One, good. Two, push. Three, four, five, six. Good. Seven, eight. Drive, drive, nine, up. Good, up. perfect, rest, pause, okay? Three reps, let's go, strong. Punch it up. One, up, up, up. Good, stay there, not yet guys, not yet. Two reps, okay, let's go, dry, dry, one, and again, good. Okay guys, strip one. Okay, let's think about five reps, okay? Punch them out, drive. One, two, three, four, up, 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 up. Come on, three reps. Break it down, come on, one, two, up, up. Good, stay there, strip it. Right, five reps, okay? Punch him out, one, two, three, four, up, 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 Ooh. good. And again, drive, one, two, three, four, up, uh. good. Last three, I'm stepping away. Also, drive, yeah. one, two, two up, three. good set. Whoa. Very good. Still three plates, Neil? Yeah, we'll do three plates, oh. yeah. Right, Roberto, strong, okay? Ready? Vai, One, Robin. two, three. Good, let's go, come on, push. One, up, come on, strong. Three, four, five, come on, Six. good. Seven, and one, up, good, up. Two reps, come on, strong, up. Punch it, one, and again, up. Come on. Okay, guys, take it off, take it yeah, off. Yeah. Right, let's go, strong, up. Come on, drive. One, two, three, up, four, and one. Up, up. Three reps, come on, three reps. Strong, one, two, up. Let's go. Up, Boys. good, take it off. You gotta get five reps, come on, up. What's that, Robbie? Drive, come on. Let's go. One, two, three, up, four, one. Drive. Right, last three, okay? Last three, I'm stepping away. Come on, drive, one. one. Push two, two and three. Good. Good job. Well done. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. <coughs> Very good. <coughs> Neil, you have a water, yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one of mine is, but uh, it's one of these. It's one. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah. So we're gonna go on to uh, dumbbell. dumbbell side laterals, okay? Good. Crazy bum? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Huge volume. Crazy volume there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. So uh, we'll do a warm up. Maybe with the 20s. Just get that movement, okay? So we get brain trained to the movement. Just do, say, 20 reps, guys. All right? It's a good life here, Neil. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Oh, it's cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's cool, huh? Big and Yeah, yeah. It looks fucking rock hard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But give him like another three or four days, he'll start looking very dry because the loads are really hard for, you know, for three days plus a cheat meal. Okay. Oh. So let's do the, say, 20s. Good, perfect.
good. Okay, so we've obviously just warmed up. The guys have obviously brain trained. They obviously did a warm up set, 20 repetitions. They didn't pre-exhaust. Now what's really important before you go into your working sets, you have to fucking mentally switch on, okay? You've got to get your mindset into a really strong position. Because one, you want to be challenging yourself. And the great thing about side lateral raise, you're going to be very dominant in obviously that lateral head. So make sure that you're mentally and physically strong because otherwise you're potentially going to weak, weaken quicker or you're going to choose weights to stay in your comfort zone. You want to step out of that comfort zone and really challenge yourself, okay? Allora, praticamente lui dice di essere pronti mentalmente dopo aver fatto il primo set di riscaldamento da 20 ripetizioni ad affrontare la serie importante. Uscita dalla comfort zone, cioè nel senso entrato in un meccanismo di lavoro che deve essere estremo, stimolante e soprattutto bas basilare per la crescita dei deltoidi. Perciò adesso il carico viene aumentato, hanno fatto un riscaldamento da 20 ripetizioni con 12 kg e mezzo. Adesso con 20 ripetizioni fanno un numero di ripetizioni, con 20 kg grammi scusate, riesce, vediamo quante ripetizioni riescono a fare. Be strong, be strong. Think about the first 10 and let's see where your strength is. When I say rest pause, you rest pause, okay? Be strong. Strong, strong. Come on, be a machine. Good. Five. Good. Push. Good. Four. Good. Quindici. 16. Push, push. 17. Three, two. Rest, pause, rest, pause. Strong, strong, strong. Right, let's go. And again, five reps. High as you can. One, up. Two, two up. Three, three, up. Four, four up. And again, good. Five. Rest, pause. Last five, okay? Strong, strong. Let's go. Drive. One, One. good. Two, three, four. four. Okay, rack it five. on the floor. Pick the 15s up and we start all over again, okay? Strong now. Work hard now, come on. Big push. Five. Come on, five, up, four, up, three, two, rest, pause, good. And again, let's go. Strong, strong. Drive. One, two, good. Four. And again, and again, last five, Porta last five, out. one, two, push, three, four, good, rack it, oh, well okay. done, good set, good set, very good, be strong, okay, think about the first ten now, come on, drive, one. up, Good. Six, seven. Push. Eight. Keep working. Nine. Come on. Keep working. Let's go. Five up. Four up. Come on. Three up. Two. And again. Up. Rest pause. Right. Five reps. Come on, Roberto. Come on. Up. One. Up. Two. Push. Three. Four. Up. Rest pause. Last five. You are not to stop until I tell you. Let's go. Five reps. Up, come on, drive, one, two, three, four, racket, 15s, let's go, strong, strong, 10 reps before you rest, pause, let's go, come on, Forza, Robbie. let's go, come on, Robbie, let's go, come on, get him up, one, up, two, good, three, push, four, Five, come on, up. Let's go, five, four, three, push. Up, two, rest, pause. Right, last five, do not stop. You stop, I'll make you do another five. Let's go, don't stop, five reps. Up, Four come on, one, up, two, two up, three, three, push. Four, four. good five. set, well okay. done. Well done, very good. Very good. Good set. Good. Okay, strong, strong, okay? Be a machine now, come on, program your mind, man. Strong, strong.
Good, Andre. Let's go all the way out. Come on. Lead by example. Come on. Olympia stage, man. One, two. Good. Push. Good. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Rest pause. Rest pause. Five reps, okay? Rest pause. Strong, strong. High as you can. Fight against it. Come on. One. Good. Two. Good. Three. Push. Four. Rest pause. Good. Last five. Come on, Andrea. Be a fucking machine. Come on. Be a champ. One, two, three, four. Good. Well done. Drop set. Be strong now. Come on. Five, six. Good. Seven. Push. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Five, four, three, two. Rest pause. Right, you've got two lots of five, but you've got to come higher. Let's go. Five reps high now. Get them up. Better. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Last five. Be strong. Be strong. Let's go. Good. Two. two three. Push. Four. Good set. Well done. Very good. Much better. Good. Come on then, Robbie. Get shit done. Look full as a fucking tank. Good. Good pump. Yeah. The thing about this training is that, you know, I talk about the pump, I talk about lactic acid buildup, I talk about sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. But I think a lot of people innocently think that this type of training does not create or cause adaptation and muscle growth and development. This is an incredible tool to implement progressive overload. A lot of people will just innocently think progressive overload is just adding extra, extra weight to doing low repetition training. High rep training, when you're forcing a sense of progressive overload, you are breaking down muscle tissue. This is a great, great training stimulus to create new muscle growth and development, but it's not something you should do every single week. All right, probably every sort of third, fourth, or fifth week is when I would do high volume training. Yeah. Uh, praticamente Neil spiega che questo molti vanno e eh, criticano il fatto di fare un allenamento ad alto volume che non dà crescita muscolare. Yeah, Dice che questo allenamento right, qua è okay. molto efficace per dare un incremento right, okay, alla crescita okay. muscolare, una stimolazione sulla crescita. <coughs> Logicamente non puoi farlo no. per un lungo tempo. Lui consiglia per right, massimo 2-3 yeah. settimane Tomorrow, e poi andare yeah, a modificare yeah, il tipo yeah. di allenamento. We'll get it massaged out. Let's go then. Lo metto qua, buttalo qua, se ce l'hai già qua. Right, let's go, be strong. Come on, fight it. Up, higher, come on. Let's start strong. Get him up. Good. Five. Excellent. Push. Eight. Five. Nine. Good, rest force, rest oh, force. Robbie. You gotta get five reps, Robbie. Come on, get them up. High, come on. Let's go. One, two, push. Three, four. Okay, racket, grab the 15s. Good, break them down. Come on, What's you Robbie? got 10 reps to do, okay? You are not to stop until you do 10 good reps. Let's go. Let's go, come on. One. Two. Senza fermarte, fino a 10. 3, push, 4, excellent, come on, 5, let's go, come on, 5, 4, 3, come on, 2, rest pause, good, last 5, come on, big push now, last 5, let's go, come on, 1, 2, 3, 4, up, good set, okay. good set, good, very good, very good. Oh. Robbie, take your top off. Take your top off and then just hit that pose for me, all right? Blow out hard through your abs now. 
Just that one muscular pose, all right? That one pose, okay? Just that one, that's all. Let's go, come on. Blow it hard. Blow it hard. Blow out. Blow out. Blow out. Relax. Relax. Do exactly the same again. Blow that air out. Come on, I want to hear that air out. Lock into your abs. Let's go. Blow out hard. Blow out. Blow out. Fuori l'aria. Comprimi quella dome. Ecco. Better. Pose and fit, right? Pose and fit. Right, we're ready to go. Last set. Good. You are professional. Fuck. Doesn't matter if you finish the set or you're still on stage. Cazzo. E controllo muscolare, Robby. Okay, last phase. Let's go. Strong, strong. Good. You're looking awesome, man. You're looking crazy. Yeah. High as you can. Just go up higher. Three. Good. Push. Ten. Good. Good. Seventeen. Push, push. Eighteen. 19, 20. good, rest, pause. Five reps, rest, pause. Fourth round. Good, let's go, strong. One, two, good. Three, four, three, five. five, good. And again. Good. You better put your top on, mate, here. Good, One, two, push. Three, four, five, good set. Good, last phase. Be strong, be strong. Good, come on. Tremendous pump, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy pump. And there's no, you know, there's no assistance. There's no force reps. Mm -hmm. They're only doing what they know they can do, right? Good. One. Drive. Nine. Ten. Good. Let's go. High reps. Let's go. Five. Two lots of five. Come on. Strong. One. One. Two. Three, Three, four, four five. five, good, last five, good. High as you can, come on, be strong on, now. Easy. Let's go. One, Easy, good. Man. Two, three, four, good set, good. well done. Good. Well done. Good. Very good, very good. Looks awesome, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roberto, that's what you need to do. He's fucking just done a working set. You should be so fucking fit. Fai ogni giorno posing, Robby. Ogni giorno fai posing, ogni giorno. Quanto tempo? Okay, boh. Come on, get him up. Forza. Good. Good. Push. Come on. Six. Good. Come on. Seven. Push, push. Eight. Drive, drive. Nine. And again. Up. Rest, pause. Right, you got five reps. Come on, Robbie. Get him up. High. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Forza, Robbie. Solo mentale. Two. Push. Three. Four. Up. Good. Racket. Good. Buono. Let's go. Ten good reps before you stop. Okay, otherwise you were gonna add them on. Let's go, ten good reps. One, good. Two, push. Three, four, good, come on. Five, good. Let's go. Five, good. Up, four, come on. Three, two. Okay, racket. Racket. Okay, so we're going to do a straight arm. What uh, was playing it, Neil? So we're going to, yep. So we're going to do a straight arm raise to the front. Okay, but I want your the dumbbells always to be about eight inches away from you, because as soon as you're here, 
You're deloading your shoulders. Okay. Okay, so I want constant tension. Okay. What I suggest you do is lean back a little because it, it acts like a counterbalance. Okay. All right, and your hands or your finished position stays in line with your eye height or your, he or your forehead. Okay. Okay, so watch my movement, guys. And I want you to control that negative and you keep the dumbbells against each other, okay? Okay. So here. That's the movement. Understand? Not here. Here you're deloading, okay? Eyes to forehead height. There. When you need to rest pause, you can rest pause here. Okay? Okay. Otherwise, load constant, all right? Okay. Allora, spiegazione di questo esercizio che dice Neil, qua interviene, interviene che, tipo, che tipologia di lavoro? La tensione continua. Lui parla praticamente di controbilanciare l'equilibrio, andare leggermente indietro con la schiena e non appoggiare i manubri nella fase finale sul corpo, ma tenerli sempre in tensione. Ok? Praticamente una tensione costante che va a lavorare sul deltoide frontale, arrivando come punto di riferimento, portando i manubri all'altezza degli occhi. And of course, you're not going to be able to use much weight. The guys have obviously done two exercises already, so they're very pre-fatigued, all right? Good. Excellent. Good. There. Good. Perfect. Stay there. Okay? Lui dice, Andrea, di spremere manubrio Good. contro manubrio. Così Excellent. Più... Stay there. Stay strong. You say on, dumbbell to dumbbell, no, Neil? Yeah, dumbbell to dumbbell. Slow the neck. Slow, slow. Eccolo. Good. Slow, slow, slow. Good. Eye height, okay? Eye height. Come on. It's going to kick your ass very shortly. One, come on. Two, good. Three, push, come on. Push, four, and again. Good, rest, pause, rest, pause. You got five reps, don't stop, okay? Strong, strong. Let's go, five reps. Drive, one, two, good. Three, push, four, and again. Good, rest, strong. pause, good, strong, strong. Keep those arms straight. Let's go, five reps. Five reps, one, Good, two, three, four, and again. Good, rest, pause, last five. Let's go, arm straight now. Big push, one, two, push, three, four, five, good set, racket, good set, good set. So as you go through the working set, you're gonna find that in your subconscious, your mind is gonna try to change your movement pattern because it's gonna to try to deload the muscle and obviously indirectly create less stress and load on the muscle. So make sure you're fighting against that. So obviously there's gonna be a number of variables. One way your body is gonna to try to fight against the movement, it's gonna get you to speed up the negative, okay? So instead of being very controlled, your body's gonna to try to speed it up, fight against it. The second thing what's gonna happen is that your range of motion is gonna change. So instead of stopping here about eight inches away from your torso in front of you, you're gonna to wanna to come further down. That further down position is only to be utilized when you are rest pausing. So fight against this. And then lastly, another area which uh, your body is potentially gonna to try to change the movement pattern, you're gonna to start to go into more like an upright row. Okay, your arms are gonna to start to bend, your elbows are gonna bend and you're gonna to try to go into upright row. Fight against it. Arms are straight all of the time, okay? And make sure you utilize that rest pause because those rest pause is gonna allow you to indirectly progressive overload, gives you those split seconds to rest before you do those extra repetitions. You'll notice that myself and Maro have not been spotting these guys. What I mean by we haven't been spotting them, we haven't been doing any assisted force reps, all right? There is no need to do any force reps whatsoever. Ma pratica, praticamente cercando di sintetizzare tutto e cerco di aver capito tutto, parla molto veloce, anche un inglese stretto, comunque praticamente ti porta a, a, a sbagliare l'esecuzione, a portare il corpo, i manubri più verso il corpo e non tenerli distanti come sono le ripetizioni iniziali. Allora in quel caso lei che cosa consiglia? Il rest pause, fermi, appoggi, recuperi, ma fai l'esercizio corretto senza fare la tendenza, senza sbagliare di portare i manubri troppo vicini. Allora il consiglio suo è questo, quando vedete che è arrivato a un punto tale che non salgono più i manubri in maniera corretta, con l'esecuzione corretta delle prime ripetizioni, inserite il rest pause. It's wasted because you've only got one or two extra reps. You obviously take that information after and then obviously you apply it. Yeah, yeah. But it's very easy in your subconscious to not realize that you are obviously 
adapting to the exercise, right? To make it easier. Because your body is going to be like scavenging. It's like when you're going through a depletion phase with carbohydrates are really low, your body is scavenging for everything and anything, right? Because it's a state okay. of survival. It's like training. Absolutely. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Right, strong set. Right. Let's go. Come on. You know this movement? Impress me, okay? Impress me. Come on. Good. Up. There. Don't come down further. Come on. Up. Get them up. Up. Higher. There. Stop. Don't come down. There. Good. Better. Up. Come on. Good. Strong. Good. Rest. Pause. Take your rest. Clean this form up, okay? Three good reps. Bravo, come, on. Di premere, ma come on. Come on. Up. Come on. Drive. One. Bravo. Up. Bravo. And again. Good. Good. And again, three reps. Come on, Roberto. Come on, drive one. Good. Rack it down. We'll go lighter for your next set, okay? Very good. Strong, strong. Come on. Fermi qua. Good. Sente Look in the mirror importante. for me. Good. Be strong. Good. Up. Perfect. Stay there. Good. Come on. Perfect form. Good, Andrea. Perfect form. Excellent. Strong. Come on. Strong, let's go, five reps. Five, up, four, three, two, one, rest, pause. Right, let's go again, five to eight reps. Strong, strong, keep that form in line now. Good, perfect, three, push, four, and again. Good, rest, pause, good, and again, stay strong. Drive, drive. One. Good. Two. Up. Three. Push. One. Good set. Good set. Perfect set. Keep working. Good. Strong. Push. Don't stop. Five. Up. Four, up, three, two, rest, pause, take that rest. Form, let's go, five reps. Let's go, come on, one, up, two, push, up, three, keep those dumbbells together, rest, pause, last set, last phase, keep those dumbbells together, come on. One, two, push, three, up. Four, good set, good set, good. Andrew, you're really fit, man. You're, you're posing strong, you're training aerobically strong, you're physically strong, you're uh, anaerobically strong and fit. Yeah, you're a fucking athlete, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, you're an athlete. Yeah, yeah, man. Your last set was perfect, right? Fucking strong set. Strong mind, come on. Be a machine. Good. Perfect. Three, four, good. Five, good. Excellent. Six, seven, push. Arm straight, look in the mirror. Good. Let's go, five, four, three, Two, one, rest, pause. Five reps and then rest, pause. Strong, strong. Let's go. Good, one, two, good. Three, four. Good, rest, pause. Last phase. Strong. Let's go. One. Good, two, three, four. Good set, well done. Very good, very good. Right, Roberto, last phase. What's that, Robbie? Right, Robbie, come on, good form. 
Good. Higher. Eye height. Eye height. Three. Good. Four. Look in the mirror. Use those. Eye height. Good. Come on. Five. Keep those dumbbells together. Four. Three. Two. One. Rest fours. You've got five reps. Come on, Robbie. Let's go. Come on. Five reps. One. Up. Two. Three. Push four. Five. Rest fours. Last five. Come on. Drive. One. Two. Three. Up. Come on. Four. Good set. Well done. Okay. We'll finish off with some rear delts. And what we'll do is we'll do overhead. Okay. Uh, probably like maybe four sets. No drop sets. Just high reps. Probably uh, 18 to 25 reps. If we go beyond that, you're probably going to find triceps are going to start kicking in. So we'll get a feeler on it, okay? Machine or dumbbell, Neil? We're going to do machine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cable crossover, yeah. Uh, not pec deck, like a cable crossover. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you've really fucking done well, man. Because it's not about... Obviously, intensity and effort is one thing. It's the fact that it's workouts like this is where you see where real athletes are. Where really athletes are, because because your performances today are not just a reflection of what you did last week. It's all the weeks and months and years of training, right? Because if you're trying to push yourself, it never gets easy because you're always trying to progress. It's like everything in life, right? If uh, in most cases, the things that you want in life challenge you, you know? So uh, impressive, very good. Mi viene la, la domanda, mi, mi sorge spontanea sul fatto di chiedere a Neil come mai preferisce eh, usare i cavi per i deltoidi posteriori e non usare la classica pack back che tutti usano. Ok, so we're going to go on to, potentially at the moment, we're going to go on to like a cable crossover. Um, there's variable ways to do this. You can do it overhead, you can actually do it in line with your forehead, your eyes. You could even manipulate the exercise and do it more like upper chest level because you're still going to engage rear delt because of the movement pattern. The reason why we're going to go on to this exercise and not necessarily another one is because we're going to do a total of four working sets. We are not going to be doing drop sets. We're going to do about 18 to 25 repetitions. But the great thing about cables, we can manipulate it. So there's constant load on cables all of the time. And sometimes, depending on the type of machine, you potentially will find that you will hit uh, a curve ball where the weight transfer goes up and then you have a deload. The great thing about cables, we can manipulate it and keep that load on it all the time. So that's for that reason. If the workout was different, then maybe we'd use a bent over seated dumbbell row, uh, sorry, a, a, a bent over seated raise for rear delts or maybe you do a, a bent over or it could be the fact we use this piece of equipment to my right hand side, which is a great piece of equipment. Obviously it's a reverse pec day, pec fly hitting that rear delt. So that's the reason why I say that we will do that today. Ok, allora la spiegazione è molto semplice. Il pec back ti dà un movimento di questa tipologia qua, mentre il cable crossover puoi prenderli dall'alto e puoi modificare l'angolo di lavoro rispetto al classico esercizio del pec back che lavora solo su un determinato angolo. Per questo è il motivo che lui vuole cambiare. No, di solito usa anche il pec back, però in questo caso usa i cavi o molte volte usa anche i real desk per fare dei toti posteriori usando solo i manubri proprio per avere una libertà di movimento per stimolare di più il deltoide posteriore. You can be overhead or you can drop down or you can come even lower because you're still going to hit that rear deltoid. What you're probably going to find is when you're overhead, you might start incorporating a little bit more side deltoid because it's already pre-fatigued. If you come down a little, the plane of motion is more likely to follow suit, which is directly your rear delt but you're going to hit rear delt anyway with high repetitions. And I said, the reason why we won't do drop sets on this, because there's a little bit of tricep activation. Okay. So what's going to happen is as you start dropping, your mind is going to start to wander you and get disconnected because there's triceps, yeah. Okay, okay. All right? Okay. Good. Good, strong. Good. Last five, last five. 
Non lo so, dipende, se trovi la, la posizione, good. vedi che poi, secondo me lavori anche Three. tanto di qua, è difficile isolare del tuo good. Good set. Il well forte come lui, tira più del dorso che, è, che del dettore del posteriore. Vedi che ti riduce lui, ti ha messo meno. Good. Two, good. Three, perfect. Six. Come on. Seven. Push. Good. Eight. Drive. Nine. Come on, work hard. Ten. Let's go, come on. Four. Ready. Good. Three. Good. Two. Good. Good. Last three. Let's go. One. Up. Two. Three. Racket. Good. So that my mind is never disconnected with where I have instability or weakness and I can purely focus on the exercise. Good. Yeah. Two. Good. Three. Four. Good. Six. Excellent. Seven. Push, push. Eight. Drive. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good. Twelve. Good. Thirteen. Uh. 14 and one. Okay, racket. Racket. Okay, camera. Okay. So that was his second working set. Now we actually dropped the weight by one plate. And the, the, the weight or his strength appeared to have dropped. And the reason being is with rear delts, what you will find, you'll see a massive drop off in your strength when you're going through those working repetitions to failure. So don't get distracted because you've done less of repetitions because it is very normal. So it's not that, that uh, the exercise is being performed differently or incorrectly, it's that rear delts, what I find is that when they are pre-fatigued, it's very, very difficult to maintain your strength. You're gonna definitely get a drop off with your strength. Yeah. Eh, non diventate matti se vedete che alla fine dell'allenamento il carico è troppo elevato e non riuscite a concentrare bene il lavoro sui deltoidi. Dovete trovare l'equilibrio giusto e il carico giusto per stimolare il deltoide posteriore. You feel it? Yeah. yeah. Ok. Much better, Robbie. Now we're engaged. Come on. Kick it back. Come on. Do not go weak on me. Come on. Mattina alle 8 ero qua così. Good. Come on. Good. Drive. Come on. Drive. Good. Strong, strong. Come on. Five. Four. Good. Three. Push, push. Two. One. Good. Okay, so that was indirectly replica then. Robbie did his second working set and again there was a big drop off in strength. And it's just because of rear delts, especially at the end of the workout because everything's pre-fatigued, that's going to take place. But just stay mentally engaged, make sure you're really utilizing that rear deltoid because that's the only area of the deltoid now which indirectly has any strength and stability, okay? Good. Strong, strong, strong. Be a machine. Good. Yeah, good.
Let's be strong, okay? Perfect. Good, Robbie. Come on. Seven. Well done. Eight. Work hard. Come on. Ten. Good. Five more. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Work hard. Five. Up. Four. Three. Two. Come on, Robbie. Come on. Good. Okay. Okay. Last set. Okay, this is going to be last set. So three working sets, and then the workout is going to be done. So um, there was obviously four different exercises total. We obviously did triple drops on the seated press. That equates to nine sets. Then the guys did drop sets, three working drop sets. That indirectly equates to six working sets on the side lateral stand and raise. Then we did uh, three working sets, just straight sets front um, dumbbell raise and then we're obviously finishing off with this so there's a lot of volume in theory the volume of repetitions is incredibly high the, the amount of working sets is incredibly high but remember when you're doing drop sets or triple drop sets they equate to indirectly two or actually three working sets within a set okay okay adesso ho fatto il riepilogo generale di come è stato l'allenamento oggi e la funzione del perché sono stati fatti i drop set e perché ha fatto un volume di lavoro così alto e secondo me è stato un allenamento super intenso e molto, molto stimolante da come ho visto i ragazzi eh, Roby che sta due settimane da gara ha avuto un pump costante Andrea l'ho visto rispetto a stamattina che abbiamo fatto la prima sessione col cardio e addominali l'ho visto molto molto più pieno io sinceramente a piacere mio questa tipologia di allenamento mi piace perché l'intensità porta alla, alla, no, alla non noia, permettetemi il termine, perché essendo un allenamento intenso recuperi poco e il discorso, discorso dell'allenarti ti tiene sempre sveglio. I just say there, I like this type of training because mm -hmm. don't make too much boring. All right, okay. Not too much long rest, it's yeah. high intensity, make a wake up. Yeah, yeah. Special Robby is two weeks out there, yeah, yeah, a yeah. little below carbs. Yeah, yeah. Mentally, physically engaged now, come on, Andrea. Mm. Good, let's go. One, two, three, push. Five, six, excellent. Seven, eight, nine, good. Ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good, come on, Andrea. Break it down, good. Good set. Good set. Good set. Good. Come on, Roberto. Good. Come on. Be strong and be engaged now. Come on. Come on. Forza, Robbie. Good. Last phase. Three. Come on. Two and one. One. Good set. Good. Good set. Well done. Good workout, guys. Good workout. Hard work pays off, right? Good job, coach. Yeah, cool. coach. You are coach. You are driver. You are driver. <laughs> Good workout, guys. Yeah, you're fucking awesome. Hi, hey, Becky. Yeah. Ragazzi, allora, dopo un'ora e mezza di tortura, vogliamo solo dire due parole sulle sensazioni che abbiamo avuto durante l'allenamento. A me personalmente questa tipologia ad alta intensità piace tantissimo perché non ti annoia, ti tiene sotto pressione, il feeling a livello di pump è molto, molto alto. Roberto sta due settimane dalla gara, quindi se qualcuno si è preparato per gareggiare o comunque sta preparando, sa cosa vuol dire quando l'alimentazione comincia a essere un po' più dura, lo stress vicino alla gara aumenta, fare un allenamento del genere, soprattutto dal punto di vista mentale, è veramente molto molto impegnativo. E io che sono a sei settimane sono ancora abbastanza tranquillo e sono nei tempi per poterlo fare, ma per Roberto vi assicuro da atleta che deve essere stata veramente 
una legnata forte. Ripeto, potete capirlo solo se avete provato a gareggiare, se sapete, che cosa, se sapete cosa vuol dire avere uno stress così importante da tutti i punti di vista quando sei a così poco da una competizione. L'allenamento è stato tenuto, avete sentito da Neil Hill, 10 titoli Olimpia e attuale il coach di Roberto. Tecnicamente è stato spiegato tutto nei, nei minimi dettagli, da parte mia c'era solo questa voglia di dirvi le sensazioni di quanto nonostante siano tanti anni che ci alleniamo perché comunque Roberto anche se è molto più giovane di me ha tante esperienze infatti Roberto molti di voi lo conosceranno è anche un bravissimo coach non solo un grande professionista ci sia ancora comunque quell'entusiasmo di dire oggi nonostante l'esperienza l'età tutto quello che volete abbiamo la possibilità di essere allenati da due top coach a livello internazionale quindi io sono veramente contento stanco ma contento penso che Roberto la pensi allo stesso modo mio stanchissimo ma veramente soddisfatto e contento di essermi allenato oggi qui con un atleta che ha fatto il Mister Olimpia che si appresta a partecipare ancora una volta al Mister Olimpia credo che sia anche un bel messaggio da dare a tutti gli appassionati italiani di due atleti open che un giorno si troveranno sul palco ma che in palestra si, si spalleggiano e, e si motivano l'un l'altro. L'allenamento è stato veramente molto molto duro, sensazione di pump assurda, però ci tor torno a casa con un'esperienza in più e sono sicuro che anche per Andrea è stata un'ottima un prova. Infatti quello che ha detto Roberto per me è la parte più importante di questo video, a prescindere dalle questioni tecniche, a chi può piacere o non piacere, chi preferisce l'altro una intensità. Questa è la mentalità che ci dovrebbe essere per far sì che il bodybuilding si evolva e purtroppo è una mentalità che in Italia condividiamo in pochi. Io ho sempre detto che con Roberto mi sono sempre trovato bene perché esclusa la parte atletica lo stimo come persona, lo stimo come uomo. E quando c'è stima, che è la componente fondamentale per far sì che si possa avere un rapporto di qualsiasi tipo, c'è solo un'evoluzione, un c'è solo... Una, un quadro che ti porta a dare qualcosa in più e andare in meglio Scusa, scusate la dislessia ma vi assicuro che dopo questo allenamento non è facilissimo comporre delle frasi di senso compiuto questa è la mentalità con cui dovrebbe essere portato avanti il movimento del bodybuilding in Italia ma non perché siamo io e lui a farlo, non è che è la mentalità di presti e buon uomo è la mentalità che in tutti gli stati del mondo specialmente in America c'è e manca qua da noi lui è uno sponsor in un altro, mi fa parte di un team mi faccio parte di un altro team ma condividiamo la stessa passione e qua, qua in sto posto con tutto sto ferro non esistono colori, bandiere, slogan, non esiste un cazzo, esiste la voglia di far fatica insieme quindi spero che oggi siamo io e Roberto e sono sicuro che anche lui vorrebbe domani vedere un video con altri due nomi altri due open, altri due 212, altri due classic ma che ci sia questa condivisione se non c'è condivisione non c'è confronto, se non c'è confronto non andiamo da nessuna parte Grazie ancora ragazzi, grazie Roberto. Grazie a te Andrea. Alla prossima ragazzi.